Hi, hello again. Um, we're back to a little, little brown book. We're making Florentines. Everybody loves Florentine. Um, this one is, is another one that, that I've been eating for 40 years. You would never think to look at me, but... Um, <laughs> But yeah, this is a real a real favourite. Um, you know, I like buying them from the shops as well, but they're so simple to make. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, so in this pan here, I've got 100 grams of butter. I've used salted butter, but it doesn't really matter. And 100 grams of caster sugar that I've just melted down together. And then over here, I've got um, 150 grams of chopped mixed nuts, 100 grams of glacé cherries that I've just chopped um, into small pieces, 50 grams of sultanas and 60 grams of plain flour, which I'm just mixing together. These are all, all the dry ingredients. And I've got some double cream as well that I'm also going to add. But um, I'm literally just mixing those together. Then I'm going to add the wet, wet to it. So I'm adding, adding these, um, these two, and then the, the um, double cream. And then I'm just going to beat, beat it into a, into a, a basically a dough. Um, it's not vastly different from um, what we were doing before. Um, we're making, it's a bit like a brandy snap, um, but obviously with, with lumps in it. Um, I know this is an awful lot of cream just for two tablespoons, but um, hey, this will get used in this house. Um, so that's a couple of tablespoons. It just um, wetens the mixture as well. Um, so this is our basic mix, okay? And I have to admit, I think this this says more this says more to me about Christmas than anything else, you know. We always knew as children when uh, when the Florentines were made by my mother, that was it. Christmas was upon us. Um, I've got the oven preheated to 180 degrees, um, and all I'm going to do now with these. Let's put a few spoonfuls on a baking tray, like so. I mean, I'm not going to make all of them today, or all of them right now. Um, this mix, I could put it into the into the fridge to firm, roll it into balls, and freeze it like I did with the with the cheese balls. Um, let's put a little bit more on that one there. Um, So I'm just going to do six for now, and um, they will they will spread. Um, you can do them in batches. If you do them on a bigger tray, that might that might have been a more sensible thing to do. But um, they're now going in for 12 to 15 minutes. Check them after 12. Um, yeah, 12 to 15 minutes. Let's say 180. So in they go. And I shall see you in a minute. Right, so the Florentines, they've had exactly 12 minutes in the oven. Um, as you can see, they're, they're, they're a deep caramelized color around the outside and just starting to go brown. Some are browner than others in the middle. Um, when you take them out, if they're a bit on the loose side, you can just knock them back into the middle because it's still quite liquid. Um, knock them back into the middle just to tidy them up. And then you've got to leave them on the tray for three or four minutes just to firm up enough to put them onto a cooling rack. Okay, so, so I mean, they're, they're still, so as you can see, I can still bend them. But if I try to pick them up now, went straight out of the oven, they would literally just sit here and fall through the gaps. Um, so what we need to do, we need to put them on, onto a cooling rack, as I said, and then find somewhere cool for them to sit. Because I'm going to melt some chocolate for the other side of them, but they've got to be completely cold um, before we put the chocolate on. And um, so that's going to do it for now. I'm going to go and leave these in a cool place, and I'll see you when I'm ready to put the chocolate on. Okay, bye for now. Right, so the Florentines have cooled now. Um, I've sped things up a little bit. Um, as you can see, I've already finished one because the heating's on in here, it's really warm. And you try um, setting chocolate in a warm house. So so they sat there, they're, they're completely cool. We turn them over because we want to paint chocolate on the back. Now you can be as, as fancy as you like with this. Um, you, could, you could melt white chocolate and dark chocolate and feather them on the back, you know, make little patterns. All I've done is I've just used dark chocolate, plain chocolate. And, you know, you don't need to go in for cooking chocolate or anything like that. 
Um, these are those um, the, the, the cheap um, plain chocolate bars, about 30p for 100 grams. Um, when you're using plain chocolate, they all melt the same. I wouldn't use milk. Milk chocolate doesn't just doesn't melt the same. Um, but when it comes to dark chocolate, um, you certainly don't need to worry about getting premium quality or even cooking chocolate um, to do this. So what I'm doing is I'm just painting the back of the Florentine. Um, and then, then we need to put these back where, you know, our cool place for the chocolate to go hard. Then they can, they can happily sit in an airtight container for a couple of days um, if they last that long. Obviously, they're best eaten the day you make them because um, they will take on any moisture in the air. So they could, they'll end up eventually going quite chewy. Um, so there you go. So that's literally all we need to do to them. And then once they've set, they end up like this. I mean, you can see the chocolate's already starting to melt a little bit because it's that warm being a kitchen. It would be. But there you go. It's, it's crisp. It's crunchy and... I mean, that is Christmas right there. Christmas of my childhood. Florentines, beautiful. Well, they're very difficult to get down quickly. So please try making them. Bon appetit.